This leads to the dungeons. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wiganweld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wiganweld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snake comes out. What was that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on!
evil. What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware. You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on a wall. Rumours and speculation spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Harry, we don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. Ack! Blast it, Potter! I'll get you! To break more valuable school property, I said move along. Welcome to Charms class. Today we shall be learning the Scourge charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh,. Tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one, go. Harry, you've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. 
Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. Well done! You've completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. Ectoplasm takes away some of your stamina, Harry. The longer you're in contact with ectoplasm, Scourge! the more stamina you will lose. Scourge! Scourge! Rick to Sempra! I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. Aha! Scourge! Aha! Scourge! 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 Aha! Scourge! 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 
Pixie. Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Rictus Emperor will stun them. Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Rictus Emperor will stun them. Rictus Emperor!
Mr. Potter, you've completed my Scourge Challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. The weekly ass point ceremony is starting soon. 